All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Red Dead 2. Got Arthur sitting here, just just relaxing, enjoying himself. Time to see what Dutch is up to. About ready to pack up and uh, find a new camping site. So, we keep heading east. Oh, yep. For now. And when do we stop? When we reach Paris? Oh, that'd be nice. Join the commune. We stop when we find someplace sensible. Shake them that's following us and lie low. So, we moving? Yeah. This is lying low? We turned into a bunch of killers. I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Charles, come with me. We got work to do. Now, where have I heard that before? <laughs> yeah, you're right, Charles. Let's get moving. marker down here uh, that didn't sound good uh, no it was not it was not good law. hit a lot of cornwalls man they must know where we are by now really so we're heading south yeah, area called Dewberry Creek. Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And there ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. Goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. <laughs> Which <laughs> yeah. we are. You don't have to tell me. So where does it end? Where does what end? The moving, the running. Dutch don't see it as running. <laughs> Call it what you want. I don't know. Before, put enough time and distance between you and the problem, eventually it went away. This is a big country. But now, with these Pinkertons, better paid bounty hunters, I ain't so sure. Maybe the price on our heads got too big. Yeah. Now, hang on a second. I think that must be it up ahead, the old dried up creek. Seems very open. Yeah, it too does. Open. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. Hey, I see something over there. What you got? Someone on the ground there. Here. Yeah. Oh shit. Shot in the gut. He's been shot. Let's be careful, Arthur. Mm. Torn out by animals. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. Any issues? Shoot first, debate second. I'm not gonna shoot for the sake of it. Survival's for the sake of it. Quit talking. You started it. All right. 
right, let's uh, let's have a look. Look, here it is. A few tents, but the place looks empty. Let's have a look around and make sure. Yep, empty. The hell is that? Oh, it's a canteen. Where is everybody? Maybe they heard us coming. Be careful. I'm being careful. Or whoever shot the guy in the creek got him. Nothing. Pulls pistol cartridges. Someone's been here. Sure. Someone's still here. It's okay. It's okay. You can come out of there. You okay? You don't mean no harm. Shader, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? It's German? No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Who did? Men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? They ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on with her. Sorry to say he might be the girl dead. Is this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. I see a trail just ahead. Yep, that's it. Come on, let's go. What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just gonna send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons breeding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe. Okay, looks like they go down this way. All right. So, what happened with those Pinkertons anyway? When you were fishing with Jack? Said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch here. They picked the wrong man there. We should have moved right then, if you ask me. Wait, just let me make sure this is right. Yep, this way. Up along the river, or what is this, a lake? You good? Continues along the shore here. So, back to what you were saying. Masters told me they killed Mac. Shed it right in front of Jack. Ah, that kid. It's gonna be tough for him. Yeah. But Watch he it. has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. John said he was Turkey. going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. Oh, well, he should be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well, if it's John's idea, it must be a good one. What is it with you and him? Uh, he disappeared on us for a while. But Jack was real young. A long while. Here. Hold up. Let me check this. Ah, uh, they continue on that trail ahead of us. Good eyes, Arthur. Let's keep on him. So you was just talking about something? He did. And we was... family, you know? Guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. There's a camp up ahead. Careful. Alright, let's move. 
Seems deserted. Let's take a look. I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. Maybe. <coughs> Wait, do we... There he is. Where? Quick. Oh. Cut him free. Okay, let's get out of here. Alright, buddy. I got you. You got your knife there? Oh shit! Take cover! Three coming on. Right at us! What the hell do you think you're doing? Ah. How the hell you drag us into this, Charles? Ugh. Oh Jesus! Ah. Ah. I got him. Ah. Look out. I need some cover. That's how you want to do it. Hey, Crucifix, how you doing? Oh, that's them, Del. You get him untied, and I'll see what they've left behind for us. Oh, it's Jesus it. Christ. Stop the machine. Help us in here. It's okay. Getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Hey, you wait there a second. Charles. Go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. Alright, return the settler to his family. Give me one second. Just chilling, I feel you. My bone, buddy. Alright, come on. I'll take you back to your family. Was machen wir jetzt? Also soll ich mitkommen? Yeah. Wo bringen Sie mich hin? What the hell did you do to those fellers? Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld, money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. Oh wow. How did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Uh, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. Yep. I think we're getting closer. Should be just over the next hill, maybe? Yep. There they are. Get Look who I found! I dunk. Shots! Oh. Andreas! Oh. Andreas! I have been after this door! Beinahe wäre es so gewesen. Meine Lieblinge. Mein Herz allerliebst. <lacht> oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben. Come on, now get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Ramo. das ist wahr. Ramo. Uh, ich hab was für Sie. Einen Moment. Uh, um, Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Guess it was a pleasure. Ja! A massive pleasure to help him out. And got some gold out of it, so hey. You were right. Oh, this place. Oh, it'd be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur! Dutch! Uh, <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw! Mr. Pearson! Put everyone to work! Make this place a home! Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it.
Okay. How you doing, Miss Adler? This is Adler. Morning. How are you holding up? It's like a nightmare I can't wake up from. It will get better, Mrs. Adler. Okay, Arthur. Jack and Abigail. Morning, Ted. Good morning, Uncle Arthur. How you You're doing, good, buddy? Kid. Thanks, Uncle Arthur. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Okay, Uncle Arthur. My lady. Morning. You know, you should get out of here for a bit. God, that'd be nice. Well, we all need a break. Speak soon. Okay. Dust is jamming out to his ground phone as usual. You behaving there, O'Driscoll? I'm not no Driscoll, sir. Sure. <laughs> How are the horses? Okay. Uh, I mean, well, but they could be better. I'm worried. They, they, they've been through a lot. If I had some burdock root, just a couple, uh, I could knock up a poultice, could keep them well, and cure some ailments. Burdock root? Yes, yes, that, 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 that works best. Okay. If I see some, I'll bring it you. Yeah, I'll keep a lookout. Thank you. Make much sense, sir. I? <laughs> no. But somehow, you've summarized how I feel. It, it seems awful. And then, it seems the same as always. And then, it, it seems like there's just no other way. And I, I, I just... Listen. We got out of worse situations than this. Done plenty of bad things that we've all forgotten about. Don't take Dutch's patter about redemption too seriously. We're doomed. Just like every other creature on this rock. But unlike them, we'll go down fighting. Oh, Hosea. Is that what you believe? I don't know, son. I don't know what I believe. Apart from wishing I wasn't gonna find out sooner than I'd like. What do you think, Arthur? I don't do too much thinking, Jose. Killing's more my thing. I don't believe that for a second. Yeah, you should see his journal. I wouldn't either. All right, morning, gentlemen, though. Where's the stew pot, Pearson? What are you wearing? Ladies? Hello. Keeping out of mischief? Yes, unfortunately. Ain't All none right. ready. I'll leave you to it. Check in right, there. Sometimes I wonder why you stick with us reprobates. Oh, you ain't so bad. Anyway, shouldn't put ideas in your head. Sure. What you doing, Javier? Trying to cut yourself? Hey. Mm. Morning, Arthur. I reckon you might be the most loyal of the lot of us. What else is there? Well, you're right about that. Okay. Hello, Abigail. Hi. I know you like a good cup of coffee. Nothing better. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Take care, Arthur. The New South. How you doing, old friend? <coughs> Fine. It's funny. Us in and up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. <laughs> I see, I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's going to be casualties. We're thieves. You know, a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Where we in? Old Jose says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of fit. All right, sounds good. Show us this crick you've been pissing in. 
<laughs> you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good and long. Always dream crushing and bubble bursting, you. Come on, Hosea. Let's go fishing. Come on, then. Give it a rest. We got a beautiful country here. Behind you. Okay, go. Just fish here. There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was a us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again. Thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Jose. <laughs> I was once in this country with Bessie. Oh, really? I, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. But we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. I got you. Uh, I trust me, I understand. The soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we have got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. All right. I hope don't none of them recognize us. Oh. Hello, gentlemen. Trelawney. Well, look what the cat drug in. Well, well, look who it is. Bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It is good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted in. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. All right, All right come on. Let's discuss the foolish magician. Let's go after the train. Will you stop that? Stop Do what? Do not shoot them, you hear me? Come on, hurry. Come on, All boy. Right. Come on, we're losing them. We're They're losing on a train. Us. We're not losing them. Hey, stop that. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get you. I get it. I'm doing my best. <laughs> Looks like you son of a bitch is going to make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. You all are a goddamn joke. Ah! 
Oh! Ah, idiot! Now get after the others. Come on! I think he's dead. The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. See if oh, you can get on. alongside the train. I'm trying. Come on, you must be able to get next to it. Here we See go. See the flat carriage? Head for that. Get us as close as you can. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Watch out! He's throwing bottles at us. Uh, you got bastard! Oh boy! Didn't do nothing! Uh, come on! Come on! Get, get off! And off he goes. Two more. Stay on him. They don't really have too much places to go. That's not gonna do much. Come on, Mr. Callahan, I'm relying on you. Bastard. Ooh. Damn, bastard. Get the hell away. Where are you gonna run? Go, get after them. I'm coming for you next. I'm gonna run. Just us then, lawman. Come here. You ain't need to bother. Let me go. Can't you ain't got me. nowhere to go. You with your best shot. You you some shit? Come on. <laughs> Just don't kill it. Out like a light. Is everything all right in there? We're uh, fine. I don't think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just a barrel. Bring him out here. Deputy. Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? We take him in. Come on. All right. Sounds good. A fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Load Anders onto the back of your horse there, and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. There you go. You are... A natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. Yeah, yeah it really is. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit, I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Grays have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. <laughs> They've been really? fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. We're gonna bear left here. Sounds good. How far we got till town? Well, there you go, I guess. <laughs> Easy. Yeah, 
Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Very little. Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay. We're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Not a problem. Unless... Oh, there we go. We got in so we can show Sheriff Gray. Oh, shut up. I hey, know. Fellas. I'm right here. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan on the edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Gray's, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and falling out of rebel gold and marrying cousins or not marrying them. Arthur, that's... Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here. And it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I could not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. Okay, so these right. two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these Braithwaite's. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Not a problem. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. Sure. How about you, Arthur? Or have you had enough of the chase for one day? Well, let's do it. Sure, why not? Great. Hosea, why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kind of like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. Well, fishing shouldn't kill us. Come the horses. He's making my head pound. All right, boys. All right, gentlemen, follow me. Hey. How you doing, boy? So how far is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel, too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney <laughs> owes me for that. Yeah, he does. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. 
I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. God. Are you gonna fall in the uh, lake too? Great. So like I was talking about, I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Trelawney's like a bad penny. I'm not sure how good a magician he is, but he's certainly good at disappearing when he feels like it. Where does he go? Everywhere and nowhere, it seems. We wouldn't have got Sean back if he hadn't been weaseling around down that way, though. Hey, Dutch, remember that time you found him in the outhouse? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, yeah. We hadn't seen him in weeks. We stopped in some dead-end town in the middle of nowhere. Don't even remember the name. You and Bill were off doing something, Arthur. <laughs> so, we pick up some supplies. I go to relieve myself, open the door, and there's Trelawney, sitting there, newspaper in hand. Mr. Vandalin, I said, <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? And he said, I could ask you the same thing. Oh, that's now, great. if you wouldn't mind giving me a little privacy, I ate a rotten oyster. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe there are actually a hundred Trelawneys. Oh, my God. What a terrible thought. So, you're going back to see that Sheriff Drake? Yeah, I don't see why not. They don't know who we are down here. He didn't sing the sharpest attacks. Neither did that deputy. If he thinks we can be useful to him, he can certainly be useful to us. This is the spot. Down to the left there. Yeah, they seem dumb as rocks, but... Hey. Nice spot. I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Yes, over there on the shore. Passing you. Go on. I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. No, I'm sure Come they on. wouldn't. All right. This looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? No, no. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Let me row. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. Enjoy picking on children. <laughs> now take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. Well, what about stupid luck and good fish? Hey. That'll do too. Head towards the middle of the lake. All right, right about here. Hanging out with the boys. I think here's good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance of hooking them. And big like a sturgeon. What's wrong with good old worm? Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is, then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the Sounds lure good. moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. Got a nibble there, Arthur? That's on the hook, Got Arthur. It. Got it! Uh, 
Got him under control. Let's get him in. I got a bite. Got one. Ah, I should have had that one. There we go. Almost got this one. I think that's a bite. There he is. Hey, look nice at this one. beauty. Nice size. There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Fellow told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckoned. <laughs> I would like to see that. Hey, Jose. You remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Not this again. I don't think I do. Oh, yeah. You do. He was maybe 20. 21. Walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast. Toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember <laughs> now. <laughs> then, the next week, Arthur and I are at the market. Oh, no. Fishmonger calls out, So how did you enjoy those bass? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, you can fish? Or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. Just gotta reel him in now, Arthur. Ha! Got ya! And I think I, I got used to it. go fishing with this feller back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We go out all the time. But one day, we were river fishing, when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge, and out of the blue, Wesley stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. And he replies, well, felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, dear God. I might swim to shore. Nothing. Looks like you got a bite, Arthur. There we Fish go. Fish on the line, Arthur. Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Copter went and scoffed the lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, he had some spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him. Right to the end. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been. A as a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I liked it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Anchorton's had patrols out all over tall trees and great plains. We saw when we went back to Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. Yeah, it can be. Hey, I reckon we call it a day, fellas. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. <laughs> no, you have not. All right, which way we head? All this right. way? All right. Think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Oh, sure. We head back? We could keep the boat, not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Oh, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. Uh -huh. Thank you, boys. Not a problem. Now, Hosea. Yes? How about a song? Okay. Um, all right, I got one for you. I asked that gal to give me something. <laughs> I said, girl, give me some. She says, wait till the taters is done. <laughs> Who's caught? Is that Arthur? I couldn't wait till the taters was done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. Threw her on the floor and I knocked off some. I wish to God I'd passed her by. 
See, which is better, this or sea, sh sea shanties? Or is there a difference? Is there? That was that was pretty good. But you know, what song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us. Three mariners. Ah, of course. Well, we need three, four mariners to we come from the seas. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall oh my, this is just so fucking precious. Shall we go dance this round, round, round? And there is a bully boy, come pledge me on this round, 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 round. We care not for the martial men that do our states disdain. But we care for the merchant men who do our states maintain. To them we dance this round around around. To them we dance this round around around. And he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this round up, round up, round up, round up, round up, round up, round Oh, bravo! Bravo! But you know. We should not let the folks back camp. Indeed not. Well, nah, they're fam. Up oh, there goes Mary Beth, and is that Jack? Yep. All right. I think. I, but I mean, we are gonna be okay. I know. Well, I always know whenever I got you two by my side, things are gonna be just fine. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. Well, I am going All to right. Some of you. I'll give these fish to Pearson. Dutch is just gonna take in the view, huh? Miss Grimshaw. Hey oh, don't you have any warmer clothes, Mr. Morgan? You do like a smoke, huh? Want a last few pleasures. Uncle? You are. Arthur, Arthur, how you been? I've been real worried. I've been what fine. Do Don't be like that. Uh, you know, just, a, just a few bucks. And I'm short. Get lost. Well, well, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. They let the ladies in I got a $50 bounty. Ah, Herr Morgan. Herr Strauss. How are you enjoying yourself here? Well enough, I guess. And you? Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, and not for some of the locals. Sharking already? I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. What choice do we have, Mr. Nah, Morgan? I don't know. Well, come on, then. Tell me who. Here's the list. Refinery worker turned hunter by the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Ah, an apprentice undertaker. This one working in rows. His name was Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them. <laughs> Okay, so we've got two missions, Pearson and GR, which I assume means gray. So we're gonna just uh, go on ahead and take a nap. Wait, inspect. Oh, that's that. Is that Sean? That's Sean who wants to rob something. 
we'll do that with him later. But I, I say when we return, we're going to see what, uh, what Pearson's up to. And uh, <laughs> when we return. So I thank so much for watching. If you're on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe. On Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already. And I will be back in a moment.